extreme thinking. It's learning how to trust what is in the present. To get there requires some practice. Here's what I do. One sheet of paper every day. Just 10 minutes of your life. Write about whatever is moving through your presence of what is right now with absolutely no judgment. Stream thinking sharpens your skills as a listener, as a communicator, and as an activator. Learning how to trust what is right now. This is stream thinking. Today we're reading from January 27th, 2024. Is this another sign that I'm getting old? I've worn contact lenses since the 11th grade, 1979. Rarely, if ever, did you catch me in a pair of glasses. It usually meant I was giving my eyes a brief break, but you won't catch me doing it inside the public view. I recently purchased a brand new pair of glasses, and not just for an emergency. I truly see myself wearing them more in hopes that I'll have fewer dry-eyed moments or itchy eyes due to allergies. It's not that I'm uncomfortable. I openly admit, I am vain. I see a very old man looking back at me. Can I please just change my avatar? Glasses. Yeah, I was that kid back in the latter part of the 1960s into the 70s. I was four eyes. And my my glasses, the older I got, the thicker they became. And so as I made my way through elementary school, middle school, and then finally in high school, I got a job. And my dad said, well, you can finally get some contact lenses at 350 bucks a pair. But it was better than wearing glasses. Here's the experience about getting glasses at the age of 61. I showed up at the essential job. I thought I picked out the greatest looking pair of glasses that would go good with an older man that has his hair pulled back. My hair is in the middle of my back, but I'm not going to wear my glasses with my hair down like a rock star because then it looks like, ooh, whoa, you're you're trying to look like a teenager in an old rock star body? Not working. So I put my hair back and there I was at the essential job sporting my new glasses. And everybody looked at me going, no, no. No, this is not you. This isn't you. Please take those things off. So the ridicule continues from the 1960s all the way up here to 2024 plus. What is it about glasses? You either like them, people either accept them, or it's 100% the complete opposite. The only good news I have about my pair of glasses from Zinni Zinni, they make it so easy to order your own style of glasses. The only difference, the great people at Zinni, they're not as thick as Coke bottles. Can I just change my avatar? Wait, wait, wait. I don't want to end it there. And the reason why is because this is not about me. I want to know what you're going through as you evolve through the world of fashion. You see people like Johnny Depp that are wearing things like glasses, what they're wearing on their fingers, what they're wearing around their neck. You just want to fit in when it comes to fashion. What is it that you're changing in your life and those around you are going, oh, hell no. No, 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 no. Do not even attempt to do that. Now, I'll tell you one thing that is affected by our desire and passion and drive to fit into a more fashionable statement And that is weight loss. How many times have you put yourself in that position of I'm going to lose 10 to maybe even 50 pounds? And that was my goal when I turned 50 years old. I'm going to lose 50 by the time I'm 50. And I did. But if you knew and if you experienced the number of people that I used to do ice cream with, that I used to go out with these gigantic lunches with that said, I've lost a friend. I'm not alone. So have you. How have you dealt with these changes in your life when all you really want to do is just be you and have the confidence 100% to remain you? Now, do I wear my glasses to the essential job? Hell no, because they're glasses. I'm Arrow, and that's The Daily Mess.